Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this four step infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is the animated slide with four options. And I have added one more slide where option A, B, C and D comes in one line. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view tab and enable the guides. Go to insert tab, shapes, under rectangles, select rectangle top corner rounded, draw the rectangle and rotate to right 90 degrees. Bring it to the guidelines, increase the size. And you can adjust the curves by this orange dot. Make it no outline. Right mouse click, go to format shape and increase the transparency level. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this and place it over here. So the bottom part, I'm just going to cut it, that particular shape. First select the first rectangle and the second rectangle, go to format, merge shape, say subtract. So you end up with this shape, curved shape. I'm going to add one more top corner rectangle. Make it no outline and change the color. and send to back and remove this transparency level make it 0% I'm going to change the background color of the slide make it light gray color and this curved shape to be a white color Now I'm going to select this curved, press Ctrl D to duplicate and give some different color. I'm going to use this for the shadow effect. Place it exactly on top of the white and I'm just going to cut the, the first part here which is this one. Select the curve shape and the rectangle, go to merge shape and say subtract so you end up with this shape only just make it on top and you can give some soft edges and give some shadow effect as well and say send back You can increase the transparency level so that it looks perfect shadow. I think this is okay. So we have completed the first uh, shape. I'm just going to copy, select all, press Ctrl D and bring it here on the top. And I'm just going to reduce the size. And give the shadow effect. The down shadow effect. For this also use the same shadow effect. And you can increase the distance as well as the blur size. Change the color according to your 
ओन टेस्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू कॉपी द फर्स्ट द बिगर वन द बिगर कर्व कंट्रोल डी ब्रिंग इट हियर एंड राइट मॉस क्लिक ग्रुप इट आई एम गोइंग टू रोटेट इट फर्स्ट रोटेट हॉरिजोंटल and then rotate vertical and bring it here just overlapping some part of the shape give some different color for this bar and again select the smaller one press control d group it and same rotate horizontal and then rotate vertical first ungroup this and then change the shadow effect to be on top and you can use the format painter and this color also you can give some purple select all the objects bring in the center and you can group it and reduce the size if you feel the size is bigger you can reduce it or if it is smaller you can increase it and ungroup the objects again I'm going to insert one rectangle and give the same color and use the shadow towards the right increase the distance and the blur size make it no outline and give the same background color and to the other side also do the same just change the shadow effect add one more shape just to cover this one make it no outline and the same color can see this particular reason we are creating this group this both the rectangles so it will give the effect of something like cut out the options are coming from the cut from the slide and it's coming out it's popping out now it's time to add some text i'm using the font called oswald make it bold center align and bring it here you can change the option a color to match with that the bars
copy for option C apps option D as well and change the color to match with the the color So I've added the text. Now it's time to add some icons which I've downloaded from the nonproject.com. So just bring the icons here. Always try to use the icons in your presentation. It gives a very unique presentation to your slide. And then you can add some text. I'm just saying equals L-O-R-E-M within brackets one, which will give you the Latin text and you can replace easily with your own text there. and copy this text to all other options. Now we have done almost with the design, it's time to do some animation. So before doing the animation, we need to group the objects. First group the, the shadow, the curve shape and the text. Right mouse click and group it. And then the green color and the icon you can group in another one. And just say send to back. So you have to group it all the way which I did like this again select the option text the curve and the shadow group it and then the icon and the pink color the whole you can just say send to back select the both the groups and say send to back now coming to the option C. You have to be careful while doing the grouping. If you group the wrong object, then it will be a problem in animation. Now just arrange it, first you need to send this back, so this is okay, option A, B, C and D, this also you can just say send to back, yeah this is perfect. Now it's time to do the animation. First select the cutout, go to animation, use the wipe 
I'm just going to use only one animation which is wipe, wipe from left. Option A and option B will be from the left side, option C and option D from the right side. First set the wipe, make it from left side and with after previous and this one wipe from bottom that's okay all after previous and the text also wipe and from left so this is how it look like i'm just going to copy the animation painter to the option b select the option a and just copy it here select this animation and copy here and select the text animation painter and copy to the other one we are going to do the opposite now so this also Y this is from the left right side the option a option b i did from left and this should be the right side and this will also be wipe from top you have to make sure that this is all after previous or if you want on mouse click so you let it be on mouse click animation then For the last one i'm just using animation painter always use animation painter to save the time of doing the animation i forgot to do the animation for this let me just give a wipe effect which is from right and bring the animation on the top so that the flow will remain the same So we are finished with the animation it will look like this option a option b option c and option d that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye